back out again. Oh, second night. Last night I was in the Cheviots with uh, him. Tonight it's the lakes. Lake District. I'm just on my own, like. It's a uh, Honister slate mine. And that's a fleet with pike. That's the road I walk up there. That's, that's a killer as well. This is dead steep. Dale Head. This from Hood up to Dale Head. And I'm going further on. I'm not stopping on Dale Head. Um, oh, unlucky England like. Hard lines there. Eh? Getting the final at least. But you know, there's always the World Cup next. Right. Here we are. We're at the top. What a top this is. I love this uh, can. The view oh. opens up. Ah, oh, look at that. What a view. That's the Newlands Valley. Probably one of the best views in the lakes. Probably. But I'm not stopping here. I'm actually going on. I didn't know about that one. Robinson. Already camped on Hindscarth before. So I'm going to try and get up the Robinson. I've got, I've got plenty of time, so I should be alright getting there. So that, if I do Robinson, that means I've come on every every hill in the, around Buttermere. Every single one. Come on here a while back. Come on here a few times actually. I was pitched right there when we pulled off. It's weird coming back here, come on pitches. Oh dear, that's a hell of a track up the front of there, like. It's a killer. Just remembering how to get off because last time last time I came off Dalehead went right over that way and it's the wrong way. So it's just like straight down from there. It's clearly marked like. But I'm gonna carry on. Let's see if I can get over there. Should be alright. So I've just come over these uh little crags of doom. Short and sweet, but they're quite steep in there. Uh, a little bit tricky coming down, eh? anyway, I'm down. Big pack on, you know. So you go along here, you take, see how the path forks? If you fork to the right, that's Hindscarth. I might have pointed that out as Robinson, but Robinson's behind that. I don't know if that's it. The big one there in the distance, it's gotta be, isn't it? I might not be going up Robinson, like. <laughs> anyway, we go up that left track there. And I'll see where we are from there. <laughs> it looks massive. God, and down in the bottom of valley, look at the uh, cloud wisping up. Needs to just stop. Forecast is no rain, but I can't see that. It just looks like it's gonna absolutely lash down. It's just cloud coming in, like, but uh, I don't know. It's getting a bit chilly as well. All right, I'm gonna push on because I am getting cold. Once I stop, here's the good news. Done all that. I got, off, I got off there before I was enveloped by the cloud. It's mad, isn't it? I've just heads up there. So I've done all this. This is the bad news. I've got to drop down, right down there, over that path, and then up the front of that. That is Robinson there. <sighs> I'm not looking forward to this. I remember it now. I've walked it, I've climbed this before. I remember that. I had somehow blanket from my memory banks because of the, the drop. You go right down, so low down. You must drop about 300 feet there, like more. And then you've just got to go bang right up the front of it there. But you know, that's what I set out to do. I'm not a quitter. I feel alright, I'm just hot. I feel quite fit actually. I'm just very, very hot. This lovely breeze is cooling us down now. It's nice. But I think I'm gonna be boiling going up there again. Ah, we'll crack on. Come on, let's get it done. Oh, you know, when I said I was feeling fit, that was up there. So I've come down that path of terror over that lump of death and down. I feel cheated. I got down there, I dropped 200 odd meters. But now I'm on the ascent of hell. It's not as bad as you think. 
it's just warm, it's just warm down in this valley. But once I've done this bit, that'll be the top of Robinson. I'll get set up. Look at it, I've got all to myself. There's nobody. I've seen a few people up there, but they were heading back obviously. Hey, nobody here. I'm not looking forward to coming back this way tomorrow. I've got to go back up. It's the only way back really. I could drop off Robinson at the back of it, down into Buttermere, walk the full Honister Pass, but I don't fancy that. Yeah, that'll be alright. It's it's it always looks worse than it actually is when once you get up to it. Make this look really horrendous from back there. I mean it's steep but it just looks alright like. Anyway, I could push on and come back at the top. There we are. I'm nearly at the top. There was 60 meters left up there, up and across. But because there's a big cloud, I'm not going to get these views, so I'm just going to look now. I come up there, that was, it was all right. I'm not looking forward to going back up that one tomorrow. That last, that is so steep. That that bit there, steeper than what I've just come up now. Oh, God. Yeah, at least I can claim this now, Robinson. Wild camp on all these fells now. All the ones over there, the High Style Ridge, Haystacks, um, Fleet with Pike, over the side, High Pike, High Crag, uh, Grassmoor, White Leaf Pike over there, Wandop, Ranadale. And now Robinson, Bosch. I've got to find the top now because there's a cloud hat on. Mm, I'm not going to see anything up there. Let's see what happens. There you go. Right on it. Right on the top. Look at the. If you came for the views, turn off now. <laughs> there's no views. Oh, crikey. Whew, I'm wrecked. Took us 40 minutes from uh, the bottom of the the bottom of the hill just before I started that big climb back up. 40 minutes. Look at it, man. Oh, and the ground looks really hard and rocky. I'm struggling to get the pegs in here. I'm going to have a wander around, find a little spot. Obviously not on top. Because you don't know who comes up. I'll find somewhere. Well, that's it. Set up. Two minutes. And look at the cloud lifting. And uh, well, the views are amazing. The views over there. Look at that. Let's get on this. Oh, this is the actual top. This summit can up here. This is the very top. 637 this. Look at that. Grass moor over there. The big one. In front of it is Whiteless Pike. Wand up. Sail fell. I think it's Causey Pike, I'm not sure. But that one there, that, that one in front there, like the the one with the drop off, that's where I camped. Sitting on that, right on that edge, looking out over this valley. It was amazing. It was a good night, that. Long time ago. All different time ago. But you don't forget them. Yeah, so, oh yeah, cloud lifting, this is good. Very good. That's flat as anything inside. The, the sleeping area is totally flat, so that's good as well. Everywhere else around it is like a slope and a little little drop. But the, the sleeping floor is perfectly flat. I think I scored there, like... I don't think it was, I thought I was going to have to move it. That's why I didn't guide out. Oh. But if you see this bit here drops away there. But look at that, in there it's perfectly flat. Mint. Yes. So I've got some new gear to uh, show off. We'll get that out in a minute. I just get my breath. That was a hell of a slog. I'm gonna um I'm gonna record that walk back on Strava. It's right up there and up that up that hill. That's Dale Head in the distance. <laughs> Go back there tomorrow. Oh, God. 
there it is. The new mattress. I had that down mat for like uh, coming on three years, and it's just uh, I had it repaired, but it's gone again. So I just invested in this. We get good write-ups. Let's get the regular size. I mean, the bag's big. It does take up quite a bit of space, but look at it, man. Look at it. Got it from Rock and Run online. If you um, go and have a look at Rock and Run website, it's because they sell loads of great stuff. And they didn't give us a discount code, but everything's discounted anyway. And I said, I would give him a mention because he helped us out with that, because I cocked it up. And the lad called James, I emailed him, told him what I'd done and all that in there. Uh, yeah, he put everything right. So what great. Rock and Run. Got that mat. Oh. I can't wait to go to bed. I'll give me verdict on it later. It's raining a little bit like. Look at all this cloud. It's just a little light bit of patter of rain. Beers. So we've got Jake Head. Uh, tram double smush. Double IPA, that's the new Wylam one. 8.8%, that's 8%. I don't think I'm coming off this mountain tomorrow. Psychokinesis, Magic Rock, 6.5. This is 2x2, two two, Horizon, 7%. That can, look at that art on that can. I mean, that is a work of art. Now look at the Wylam one, it's like, you can see your brains. Smoosh, that'll be me. That'll be me and I'm on smooshed. Oh, right, I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna throw everything in because it's raining a little bit. It's that damp rain, you know. You know the rain that gets you wet. <laughs> so on the mat, it has these little strips that you get with it. They feel soft to the touch. The Velcro strips. They just feel, they feel smooth, you know. And uh, you get the Aero, Aeros pillow. So if you have the pillow that way, which is where you're meant to sleep, so if you turn it that way, it doesn't stick. But if you turn it that way, and remember they feel smooth, and you put it on. What is this Harry Potter shit? What is this wizardry? And I suppose the pillow on. It's wizardry. But take it off. If you turn it over that way, it doesn't stick. How about that? That's mad. Oh, it's nice and comfortable, this mat, like. For a side sleeper like me. Well, I'm just sitting here chilling out now. Um, the clouds come covered with now, being enveloped. <laughs> enveloped. Still a little bit of break in it, but nah, I don't know. The forecast says it'll be patchy, so I don't know. It'll just keep it just keeps blowing over, but we are quite high. This is over two thousand feet. This done my first can in. Um, I just realised my socks need replacing. <laughs> I felt I, I thought something wasn't right when I was walking up. Oh God! Oh, they were great socks. Them, I love them socks. Nice and warm in the uh, winter, cool in the summer. The thing is with this mat as well, this is a, this is a uh, winter mat really. I'm just trying it out tonight. It's a six, it's rated, R rating of six. <laughs> it's like minus 20, isn't it? I don't know, it's like for the Arctic. You can feel it's really good quality, like. Not cheap, I'll admit it, it's not cheap. But I'm hoping I'll get a lot of use out of that and I'll do like a nice comfy mattress. I've been, I've been lying on it before and it's very comfortable. Look at that man, it's, it's uh, what is it, 100 millimeters thick, four inches. And it's got all these uh, separate cells, it's good like. At the minute it's good. It's not that noisy, it's not as noisy as the other one. It's a bit crinkly but it's not as bad as that other one. The other um, seat is somewhat one. Ah, but I did like the X-Bed down mat. Just fancy to change, that's all. So, uh, I'm just going to get another beer on. I think we'll have this one. 
psychokinesis, which would take off and just like, fly away. <laughs> anyway, I'll put Craig Charles back on. Been filming that, and then a massive rainstorm came. Oh, that's cloud like low lying cloud. Look at that, the sun's just trying its best, but I think the cloud's beating it. The cloud's winning. We've got all this at the back of us. I'm still over the back here, uh, I'm still over there. Oh dear, yeah, I'm a, bit, a little bit tent bound because that got quite heavy that rain, but that's all right. It's meant to pass. A little shower passing by. It's lovely over there though. That's crummock water, isn't it? Crummock water and brothers water. Oh. I I don't know. Well, it was all going so well. Now it's uh Going wrong, isn't it? However, I'm sorted. That's nice, that. that's a, a really nice beer. Mm. Enjoying that. Uh, top tip like bring a uh, microfiber towel with you I know it's pink but you know it does the blooming job this is just condensation this the, the humidity is awful because it's uh, it's quite warm of course the rain and I'm in I'm stuck in it's sunny over there what a weird day the weather's weird Anyway, I'm sorted and Cape Charles is on. Just gotta sit it out. And the rain's off. That was on for a good 40 minutes that. Just hammering down. Look at there's my water sauce. Drink that, pure rain water, fine. Look at this though. When the rain clears, it's amazing. It's a great, um, it's a really nice atmosphere. Everything just clears. Look at that. Those clouds in the sky. Big anvil, cumulus, nimbus. That's more rain, that. It's weird. It's weird because it's like blue sky here now. Look at that. But there, just there, <laughs> is a disaster. <laughs> Mm, that's the lake district for you. One minute it's beautiful, the next minute you're getting drenched. Most people know that. Right over there, in the very far distance, that's where I'm parked, that's Honister. So, oh, I've got such a trek tomorrow, like, I hope I feel alright. Gotta go down there, down to the, the bottom of that path, back down the hill of Terra. Over the um, over them little rises of doom, and then up that big. That was dead steep coming down there. It was really hard coming down. That was the steepest bit. So I go up there. That should be all right. I'm all right going up. It's coming down. I don't like coming down. Is what hurts me knees. Um, so I go up that path of sheer hell. And then across up on the Dale Head, you can see the top of Dale Head. I don't know if you can make it out here. And then when you get to Dale Head, then you've got that descent of death. It's a mile. It's a mile from the top of uh, Dale Head to the, the mine. But it's, it's all downhill. It just hurts my knees, that's all. I've got very old knees. I'm very old, you know. I'll be 60 soon.
three years, I'll be 60. Two years, two and a half years. Let's hope I can still keep doing it. 60, man. How, how's that happened? You're as young as you feel. At the minute, I don't think I've been fitter. Getting out, cycling, loads of hikes. It's good. Work's keeping us fit. Work is a, it's a really um, physical job. Carrying concrete around all day. But these mountains, this is what keeps you alive, isn't it? Look at this sun desperately trying to break through here. Yeah, would have been a really good sunset there. What a shame. I wonder what the morning's going to bring. Sunrise will be over there. I don't know if I'll be up that sharp. I'll sleep well tonight, especially on that mattress. I'll lay down before it's more comfortable than my bed. I know it's expensive, but I think it's worth it. <laughs> now we'll see. We'll see. We'll let you know in the morning. But for now, I'm just oh, I'm just glad that rain stopped. I can get out and wander around. Now, this is a bizarre find. There's a little town here. Look at it, it's got weird grass in it. This is called <laughs> Deeper Than You Think Tarn. <laughs> hey, how bizarre. Oh, there's your water source. If you bring your filter up. That's where I'm pitched. That's the top. I just ran down like a um like a fell runner like. Shouldn't have really. What was I just saying before about my knees? Hey. Deeper than you think, Tarn. How peculiar. I'd seen it over there before, I thought it was grass, but. Yeah. So, anyway, for future reference, anybody wants to come up here, there's your, your water. There's a bit here as well, I don't know, but this looks a bit uh, murky. Oh, that, I don't know. That might be all right, you know. Hmm. I think you'd have to be pretty desperate. But with the reached filter, it'd probably all right. All right. I'm gonna go ooh, back up. It's after nine o'clock. Craig Charles has finished. He's back on at 10, so I've got an hour to wait. I'll put him back on. Might send him a text message. <laughs> Sad. I've never had a shower for ages. Morning, campus, hardy high, now, nothing, not a thing. Bugger all, zip, zero, zilch, now, nothing. View sheep. Look at the dog. Seven o'clock in the morning, he's up here already. Time to get up. Well, about the, oh, I got up this morning for a uh, natural break and it was really cloudy, thick cloud. You couldn't see very far. But it's alright now, it's cleared up. Funny, funny lake district, isn't it? The weather. I mean, last night, torrential rain. Oh, yeah, torrential rain. And then within five minutes, it was all lovely and red sky and everything. Bizarre, like. That's why I should always bring clothes for all occasions. Right, I'm going to get up and get uh, get the kettle on. And then I've got a big long walk to go back. Oh yeah, not look forward to that. That bit there, that's going to be the hard bit. Right, let's crack on. Oh, it's getting closer now. We're getting the path of death. So you've got to go down. Drop right down, up and over, and then up the steep bit of terror, over the crags of doom. Slippy crags, because I just had a massive rain shower. Um, up onto the top of Dale Head, and then down. So you can see the slate mine from here. Um, this is where I was, not a bad pitch, flat. Flat, only flat bit there. <laughs> that sleeping mat, by the way, that was the most comfortable night's sleep I've had in a long time. I'm not just saying that. I don't start to gain anything by going on about the mat. I mean, you either like them or you don't. But, oh, God, it made a big difference. I slept like a log. 
off when I had to get up for my natural. Right. So I'm gonna set off now. It's eight o'clock. Don't know how long this will take. Quite a while, I would think. I think that it's gonna be a struggle because I'm a bit knackered. Right, let's go. This weather looks awful. <laughs> well, it's 10 minutes later and I'm down. Down off there. That's just Robinson I'm down off. But I've got to now face that. This one in front of us and then that one behind it. Up onto that ridge. Over Dale Head. And then down. Oh, I'm not looking forward to it. I feel alright actually. But I remember coming down that one at the back and it is as steep as it looks like. <laughs> and then sometimes when you get up close you think oh, that's not that bad. That one is. Just going off yesterday, coming down it, I was like skidding down it. <sighs> anyway, we'll push on. I might just do one last bit of filming after this and then that's it. This is going to be a long video. I might have to cut loads out. Well, I've made it from right over there. All the way up that, that, uh, that walk of death wasn't that bad. I must be fitter than I think I am. Look at the cloud. I've gone back to Dale Heed. There's no views. It's all about the views. It's all about the use. It's all about use. So that's it. I'm looking a bit beaten up here, like I've got rained on. Spiders in my face. It's, just, uh, it's good fun, like. <laughs> So we'll see you on the next one because I'm just going to end it here so there's nothing else to film really. Just a few locals doing the daily routine. So that's it. If this is two parts because I think it's going to be too long to put in one.